each individual to stand up, tell a little bit about yourself. No, one at a time. Tell a little bit about yourself and uh, your name, where you're from, a little bit, a little bit of your history. Tell as much or as little as you want, real quick. Give you no more than a minute and a half. Okay, go ahead. Check first. Uh, my name is Shay Van Kirk. I'm originally from Independence, Kansas. I, uh, I'm sorry. I was. I was oh, that's okay. <laughs> I was, I, was born, I was born in Coffeyville, Kansas, but I was actually raised in Independence. I, uh, I've got three children, ages 16, 15, and 14. Sure. My daughter is the oldest. So, and, uh, One a year. Did they not have TV shows? That you, you, they lost your cable that year, didn't you? I was busy. Uh, I got you, yeah. <laughs> you was busy. Uh, my, my, my two sons are my youngest, 14 and 15. Uh, they're actually six foot four now, so I'm, I'm a small one of the family five, yeah. almost. So, but, uh, but I'm single. I'm actually looking for a job, and I think that uh, this job might suit me well. I, I come from a construction background. My family has construction companies, and uh, at my age, construction's really not a, not a question anymore. Not, not unless I'm going to sell some roofs or some jobs, but doing the labor work now is is out of the question. So that's kind of how old are you, Shay? Forty-four. At your age? Now come on, what am I, Grandpa? I don't know, lady. <laughs> Just about. I, I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> I was going to go into being a firefighter, and I was like... Mm. Okay, well, we're glad to have you, Shay. Thank you. Hi, my name's Luke Dole. I'm an alcoholic. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong class. I'm in the wrong class. I'm sorry. Right. 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 Is that next door? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Born and raised in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, graduated last summer from WSU. Uh, I've always worked two to three jobs to pay for school as I went. I paid for it as I went, so it's paid off. Uh, just recently bought a house. Wow, congratulations. Thank what? you. And, uh, we it. like that. We like people that are hungry, that have bills. We want everybody, when you start selling cars, want you to go buy a boat, a car, a house. Get loaded up to where you got to go sell them cars and pay them bills. Bought a new washing dryer. Oh, there you go. Oh, God, they're going to love you. Tell them that when you interview. Tell them that when you interview, Luke. Um, I got a saltwater pool. I love that. Cool. Yeah, I got a hell of a deal on it. Wow. But it was a nightmare getting it. But, um, yeah, I uh, had a girlfriend for three and a half years. And I was just getting ready to say, until that point, you'd sound like you was uh, making a mountainmatch.com uh, page out here for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> guess what? I'm a lifeguard. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, Perfect. you know. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, had two dogs and I have three because my brother gave me his. So. Uh, what kind of dog? Uh, Min Pin, Terrier, and uh, Lab Golden Retriever mix. Okay. Well, that, yeah. The other two are heel members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm out there. <laughs> I got a big shot color for him for hunting dogs. Oh, wow. Yeah. I put that on it. They misbehave. Oh. Um, it has a vibrate setting on it, too. Ah. But, yeah, that's me. All right, good to have you. My name is Karen Mitchell. I'm 49 years old. Um, I was born in North Hospital, Virginia. My father's in the military Air Force. I was raised in Grayview, Kansas. And I'm a people person. I have the gift to gab. And I like to talk. And I'm very confident in what I do. And I do my best. Good to have you. Thank you. I'm originally from New York. Here. New York City? No, Long Island. Okay. <laughs> but close. <laughs> um, moved here in 2010 because my fiance is in the military. We actually both came from New York. Um, and over there, I worked at a Y. I taught swimming lessons for about six, seven years. And I actually wasn't left back. She brought that up. I <laughs> was <laughs> <laughs> Started to go to school for vet, for vet tech work, um, but it just got so expensive. So now I've just been trying to work to, like you said, pay bills. Good heck. This is a, but just so everyone knows, hopefully you consider this a career because this is a career. And that's a great career. It's good. That's that's a lot of money. Okay, and it's not money's not everything, but you'll find out. Just like in that video, you have to love what you do, and if you love people then you should love this business because that's what it's all about. It's all about building relationships. Dude, speaking of careers, uh, my nephew was a car salesman at a uh, Hippodrome uh, dealership in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And just to let everybody know, his last two years, he made 80 and 90 
$100,000. Yeah. There's a couple people over the huts, a couple of salespeople made over 100 grand last year. Um, it's, you know, it's not a, it's not a secret. It's, you know, now your family and friends are all going to tell you you're nuts and crazy going into the car business. Okay. They, but I tell you, and I'll tell you right now, I'm going to finish this here in a second. Here from the <laughs> all right. Um, I always challenge someone to find me that unicorn. Okay. And my mythological creature is find me someone that sold cars that doesn't do it anymore or that's not retired. Now, yes, I have had people leave the business thinking they could go do pharmaceutical sales or whatever, make all this big money. They always come back. Okay? If they were truly at a car lot where they got trained and not just thrown out there and got no training, and that's different. And I don't count selling cars on Craigslist. I don't count selling these little we finance lots and all that. Okay? But got trained by a professional and sold cars, I guarantee you, you won't allow to find me that unicorn. You will not find them. They're not out there. Cannot be found. Okay? Facility. So. I guess everybody already knows who I am. Oh! I'm sorry! <laughs> I've been picking on y'all day, Krista. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm Krista Doffing. Um, I am a divorced single mother of two. My son is Brock, and he is six. My daughter is three. Her name is Micaiah, and she's really, I think she's like 47. Right, really right. She's right. three years old. Um, but uh, the last year of my life, I've been living with my mother, taking care of her after brain surgery. Uh, she had two aneurysms clamps, so that was pretty uh, intense uh, psychological stuff going on there for the last year. Um, I've always wanted to be that somebody that, that, that drives people, because driving people drives me. You know, if I, if I see that I'm, you know, making a difference, it, it pushes me to go faster and go farther and faster and farther. Um, I do love people. I have, I, you know, I've, my mom could tell you, my teachers could all tell you that I've been talking since before I came out. So, you know, it's, it's whatever <laughs> we can talk about. I can talk about it too. Surely not. <laughs> but um, I'm really just looking for a career that I can be comfortable in my family and that I can give my children everything that they need and want, not necessarily what they want all the time, but just to be comfortable in that life. Um, it's scary being divorced, not having worked in six years looking at a job market and you're like, I haven't worked, I don't have a work history, I'm going to be at the body. You can't put glitter on your application. Hey, I know a guy that's got a big house. Oh, yeah. He's got a pool. Yeah? Yeah. But he's got three dogs. Oh, the men pin, that's a no-go, no lunch. I had one, and that, that dog didn't bite me because I fed it. That's the only reason. It bit everybody wow. else. But I have two cats. Isis ah, and Loki, and I have I have a dog named Bella. And she's a Shiba Inu, so they're very uh, weird if dogs. If you do that, you better clean it up. They're they're Japanese. What they have? <laughs> a Shiba uh, Nibu. They're the uh, oldest oldest breed of dog from Japan, and they're related to the Dingo and the Basenji. Oh, they, I got it. Basenji's one can't bark. They yodel. They don't bark. They yodel, and Shiba's yodel as well. And Huskies talk. Yeah, they talk. So I have. Yeah. Oh, really? Does he talk? She, yeah, she howls. Yeah, and, and while they sit there, like, woo, 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 to you. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. really bark. That's so cool. That's, that's my dog that's Bella so cool. does that, my, too. My pug did that. She, she'll come, <laughs> if you walk in the door, and she, she doesn't do it when other people walk in the door. Right. As soon as I get home, it's, all right. Okay, okay. two minutes are up. <laughs> she didn't hear music playing in the background. <laughs> Good job. My name is Helen Mercy, a better known as Pepper. Rick, would you like peppers? No, I got the nickname because my hair oh, started to be uh, salt and pepper. Right? Oh, so that's a recent nickname. So it's not like uh, you grew up. It's about 35, 40 years. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, no, pepper. No, you you yes, go, Pat. Salt. Okay, Pat, well, look. Yeah, no pepper no more, huh? We're calling you salt? All right, salt, let's go. I've been in aviation for 26 years. Uh, I retired from Cessna. But even though I'm retired, I, you know, look at Dave's economy and everything, you still find yourself needing a job to pay your bills and stuff, so. Kind of one of the people on that uh, Met Life study? Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, being single and everything, you know, you do have to provide for yourself. You know? I do have a cat, his name is Tipper, he weighs uh, 16 pounds. Wow! Uh, oh, you ain't got a cat, honey. You got a baby elephant. <laughs> I want to be your cat. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm, I just turned 60 last month. 
but you're never too old to learn. And uh, I walk every day uh, at least 10 miles. Uh, I'm very active. I try to, you know, you can't tell it now because I've been doing contract work and, and using my contract work and work 12 hours a day. And, you know, it, it wears on me. So, you know, but who knows? I, you know, I'm stepping out on faith. And that's what it totally is. This is totally different for me. So, uh, can I do it? I believe I can. Because I believe in myself. And we're doing things to higher power. So. And also, too, I have 30, 31 years of sobriety. So oh, I can't legally say I am an alcoholic. You know, but I'm recovering. So, yeah. Good. Thank you. All right. All right. My name is Alex. Uh, well, actually, my real first full name is Alexander, but I go by Alex for short. I am 21 years old. I graduated high school three years ago in 2011. Um, right now, I'm currently living with my parents, my mom and dad. They still mean everything to me. I don't know where I would be without them. My brother is actually a youth pastor up down in Texas, which is where I'm originally from, Wichita Falls. Uh, he's still living there just to attend school. And I was born in Salinas, California. I have a dog. I have a little Yorkshire Terrier named Lucy. She's very cute and adorable. I don't know what I would do about her. She's like a sister to me. A sister. And right now, too much to tell about me. I tell you, uh, I'm a big time football fan. I like the 49ers. To get to know me, I'm a huge 49ers fan. And I like the Oregon Ducks as well. And that's all you need to know. That's everything else you want.